what was it like being in the Los Angeles mid seventies? All those games going on, you know, uh, the celebrities that would be going through. Uh, it was like, with Sinatra time. going through Lasorda's oh, office. And, you right? know, once Tommy. I mean, it was it was it was really special. And then Lasorda came, and it was a whole new level of of Hollywood and celebrity. And Danny Kaye would come in with his little slippers and do a dance and and Rickles would come by and and he would say something about each guy and make your belly laugh and he'd get to me and he says I can't say anything you're my son's favorite player <laughs> no. but I want to say one thing yeah you step out of the shower to take a don't you and everybody would laugh <laughs> I said yes I did and um but that was rock and roll quick Sinatra said he would Please. do the national anthem for Lasorda if he ever became manager on opening day so he comes puts the jacket Jaunty hat goes to center field, starts up. Oh, say, Andy. forgets the third stanza no. of the shortest national anthem of all time. Bert Hooten's next to me, and he says, Lasorda. Swat Bert. Who in the heck is that guy out there? <laughs> You just missed the next two terms, Hooten. <laughs> next two starts, sit down. <laughs> Frank but Sinatra. That, huh? Frank Sinatra, yeah. Oh, it sounded good for two thirds of the national. Oh, anthem, my gosh. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.